This video is on the tear film analysis that you can do with your Medmont E300 corneal topographer. It helps you to assess the patient's dry eye by quantifying and qualifying the degree of tear film breakup evident in the reflection of the placido. Start by clicking on the patient name that you desire to capture on, then go up to the corneal topography capture icon. This brings up the exam window. We'll select tear film analysis. With the tear film analysis window open, we can follow the instructions on the bottom of the screen. We can also select the duration and time that we would like to capture these images over. In this case, we've selected a maximum duration of 15 seconds of video analysis. Let's center the instrument, asking the patient to blink normally while we center the instrument up. Then we'll ask the patient to blink twice and hold their eye open as long as possible. As soon as the patient needs to blink again, the video will automatically stop or if we reach that 15 second duration, the capture window will close. Try to keep the instrument centered during that capture. Once the capture window has completed its 15 seconds or we've had that third blink to shut off the video, we can select Next and Finish. This will save those images to the patient file, allowing us to assess the dry eye of this patient. If we close down the capture window, we can go to the patient file and we'll note the teardrop appearing icon indicating our tear film analysis video. Next, go up to the video tab and select play as a continuous loop. This allows us to appreciate the tear film over time with each one of those images the pink dot corresponding to the actual photo taken at that instance. We can see by the dark blue areas where the tear film is very smooth and even. Areas where we see the hotter colors, the reds and the yellows, are areas where the tear film is in breakup or very dry. If we look at the upper right hand corner, we can assess the average TFSQ over all the images taken over time. And this indicates that the average score, the average dryness is 0.237. Patients over 0.1 are considered dry eye. So this patient is over double the threshold of dry eye. The second value tells us the average area that's in breakup over the course of all the imaged captures. In this case, it's saying that 20% of the surface area is in breakup. The third value, auto tear breakup time, tells us this patient had tear film breakup within 2.4 seconds. So this TFSQ analysis can be used to understand the degree of dry eye of a patient. We can use it between visits to understand changes over time. We can use this to understand the treatment that we may be using to aid this patient with their dry eye condition. And it can be a very powerful tool, both on the naked eye to understand the tear film, but also over contact lenses themselves to see the wettability of the plastics.